Hello and welcome to another episode of Crazy About Fly Fishing. Uh, me and John from Adrift Fishing went out today and got quite a few urban trout. There was also a sad event of uh, one big fish lost, but generally it was a pretty good day out. So, and my uh, fish. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, 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 I, I did, I did kind of lose his fish. So uh, yeah, you should uh, watch and see what happens. There's some really good trout in there, uh, especially some big browns as well. So cool location as well. So yeah, oh, definitely. I was, I was surprised at how many big browns there were. One thing that's quite handy when you rig up, don't try to use the end of your leader to try and thread it through. Fold over your fly line and then use that. And then you can make sure when you pull through that you're getting all the guides and it's much easier to thread your line through your rod. And so you can check each one like that. There you go, and then you just pull it all through. Easy as. Well, I'm finally set up. I've just got a double nymph rig. This is a flashback pheasant tail with rubber legs with a 3.3 mil tungsten bead. And then the second fly about a foot further down is a small size 14 flashback pheasant tail. And um, then I've just got a nine foot tapered leader and three foot of 3x from that. And then I've got my indicator up here, yarn indicator. And uh, yeah, that's the rig. Let's get to it. Okay, new spot. Just managed to spook a nice brown. So I'm just gonna work my way up here. John's just popped back to the car to go and get a few things. So John's kind of explained where he's normally picking up fish. There's one interesting smudge back here. I don't think it's a fish though. Oh, there we go, we've got one. He's little though. He's a little Didn't even see, he just dashed out. Yeah, nice little fella. Well, that wasn't a big one, but nice to be on board. It took my uh, own version of the C3101 fly. If you want to see how I tie that, you can uh, see the link up in the description. And uh, also I'll put a link up above. And then to that, I've got a, this, my second fly is a small pheasant tail nymph gold bead, size 14. And yeah, nice to be on board. Right, John's just re-rigging his indicator. And I'm going to see if I can catch some willows. There's a bit of a deeper bit here. We just spooked a big brown from a spot that we tried to spot it, even though we know that it's supposed to be there, we couldn't see it. And then eventually it swam off. Okay, so we can see a fairly decent fish up there, I just need to get a cast in. It's, a bit, it's coming over, it's coming over. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> nice rainbow. Where's my net? Nice. Woohoo! Oh, well, that was textbook. Pretty cool. Nice. Very colourful rainbow. And that's how Johan catches fish. Very good. A very colourful little rainbow. Not very big at all, but extremely colourful. Really neat. Cool. 
Very nice. All rainbow. Oh, he's gonna hang around here for us for a little while. Cool. Yeah, what I also do on top of the indicator is I always put a little bit of uh, floatant. So I use a Stone Creek high gel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that just makes it really float quite well. Yeah, I have got some floatant. Oops. Yeah, I can definitely see a fish way further up as well. There's definitely one on the sandy patch as well. But there was, there was two, still is, sitting down just below him in the dark patch. Okay, we're gonna fish this pool up. We definitely see a few fish in here. There might actually be a bit of casting room as well. It's gonna start oh, that was further up than I thought it was gonna go. But that could be a good drift. Hmm, that's a good looking drift, but... Could be a while you go. Yep, got him. Yep, nice. Uh, Nate, I think you got oh, yeah. the... Coming down. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Oh, they're not big today, but that's a nice little fish. Something, something. Nice little fish. Cool. I'll get a release on this one. It's gone. Oh, it's alright. We got the awesome slippery fish. That's one of my releases, that. <laughs> Yeah. It's definitely going over him though. Yeah. He's moving, he's moving for it. Oh no, it's not for it, it's just no, it's just buggering off. I thought he was coming over for it, but he's he just slinked off. It's a good fish. Yeah, he's not, not reacting at all. Just changed to a, a dry fly here. Because there's been a fish rising underneath that little bush. And we've gone to a parachute atoms. And John's going to just try and put it Change to a small single pheasant tail. I reckon that's going to get him. I oh know, look the bushes. Mm. Going for it. We got him. Oh, yes. Nice work. Yeah, it's getting them, keeping her out of those snags. Nice work. Okay. Got the net, you sort it. Nice. Finally on the board. <laughs> oh, awesome. What a way to get on the board as well. Yeah, yeah. Nice fish, boat. man. Cool. A cool way to catch it as well. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Big Brown just came up behind us. Yeah, he saw us. 
dashed off some uh, pretty cool looking terrain and already a few browns spotted but uh, no luck hooking them definitely interesting scenario here I've gone to just a single nymph after I busted my rig in the trees and I'm probably going to drop my indicator if it keeps being like this terrain getting a bit interesting we'll see if we can make it past or if you have to go around okay we're standing right next to a fish just going to drop a nymph on him oh he's dropped back yeah he's seen us oh that's quite cool yeah a bit of sunlight here will hopefully help us see a bit better just a bit of a deeper stretch that you can't see in so I'm just going to put a few casts through it Out to the side a bit. Here we go. It's a nice rainbow. Ew. That's a fat rainbow. Yeah, it's a fatty. I got the net. Nice. Yeah, it just looked too likely. Yeah, it looked worth a shot, eh? And it probably still is. Yeah, I reckon. There we go. In the net. Cool. Trading rods, eh? Yeah, I reckon. Which you've got still got the really bugger on Yeah, which will be good for those flick shots. Nice looking rainbow. Cool. See you there. No, it's just it's just gone in a swirl, not a. I saw it go in. It's like oh, I was. There we go. Got him. Little one. Whoa. Coming to the light. Oh, I'm onto the little ones today. We're <laughs> gonna we'll grab that neck. Yeah. I just wanted to get your thumb now. Oh yeah. Another little one, and it's again on that uh, my version of the C3 101. Just likes that. Okay, calm down, fishy. That flies out. That is a big fish. That is huge. He's as round as a rugby ball, man. Well, we're creeping up to a, what is a stupidly big brown trout. And I am going to try and get a fly to him. We're very hard to get down to him. That current is really odd, man. Yeah, as I say, sitting in a really strange spot. I'm going to try one more, then I'm going to try the willy bugger. Yeah, that's a... Typical brown spot, eh? Yeah. He hasn't moved. He definitely hasn't seen a flood. Oh, okay, so what's going on there? There's an undercurrent, dude. And there's no current on the top, but underneath where he is, there's a mad current. And he's okay. behind that rock. Yeah. Uh, probably sneak up a little bit closer. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to kind of drop it in that eddy. And just hoping one of these drifts, this fly swings past him. Got a fish. Got a fish. It's not him. Yeah, it's a, little, uh, it's a much more little rainbow, but it's a good fish. Pretty cool. A little rainbow. This is how you get to uncharted waters. John really didn't see that brown, he nearly stepped on it. <laughs> yep, it's a good brown. You still got that bugger? Really cool. Uh, yeah, I got that woody bugger. John spotted a rainbow. There we go. Well, he's, he's, he's gone that way. Okay, sorry, that was. John, don't put that. I'm not going to put this in my video. You won't put it in yours. <laughs> I just got a fright. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Oh, you, oh, you caught that one. Oh, you got him. That's awesome. Oh, God. Lift, just keep him up, keep him up, keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. He's not going to fit in this net, though. Just keep him up. you got plenty of pressure there. Just keep him out of that. Keep him out of that. You can get his head up. Try on. It's going towards you. Let's try and close my legs so he doesn't go between. Okay, I did not see that fish. Good spotting, man. No. If you can lift his head and turn him, I need to get him head first, otherwise. Keep him out of there, keep him out of there. Keep him out of there. Yeah, get, get him out, get him out. Ah! Oh. Ah! What was he? Seven, eight. Hopefully? Yeah. Straightened. Straightened. <laughs> that was a bit bigger than I thought it was, man. Oh. I, 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 I had so many potential shots, I just can't hook, hook, need him from the tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if he just turned around, I could have got him. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was really cool, though. It's a nice fish, but we got some good footage of it yeah, anyway. Yeah. So either way, yeah, I'm happy about that. That was cool. That was cool. Man, I just looked at that footage from just now. I was so super overexcited. It's embarrassing. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And uh, yeah, we caught a few trout. And interestingly, John was using my rod today, which is a V top four weight. Um, they call the trout. DL reel, and he, he caught all his trout on that. So yeah, thought I'd just give, give, give him to give you his thoughts on the rod. Yeah, look, I was very impressed with it. Um, the rod I've been using was a little bit heavier, but I've got two rods on board, a five and a seven. And um, this little four weight was casting better than the both of them. So yeah, I reckon uh, I might have to look and look at investing in one of those, I think. Yeah, yeah very, very impressed with the way that shoots. So yeah. And, yeah, and fights fish as well. Yeah, and for a, for a fairly well-priced rod, it, it does perform quite well. So yeah, nice to use that on the stream. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.